Okay. Once again, I'm no videographer. I'm really new at this. I uh, am having a hell of a time trying to figure out this video stuff. Uh, finally gave up on my brand new camera and have to, had to go back with this old Hero 4. Because uh, it works relatively easy. Still can't edit any of this stuff, but uh, anyway, we've had a discussion going on the cycle cart forum about lifts, and uh, in the automotive uh, area, you usually you typically see the two post lift or the four post lift. The four post lift is used a lot in garages where people want to have a car up on top and that they don't use their Corvette or something. And then they park their regular driver down below. So it gives, as long as you got the headroom, uh, you, you, you can actually stack two cars up on top of each other. Don't see it very often with the two post lift. It's not quite as stable. But the two post lift has a big advantage in that you can service the wheels, the axle, the, all the suspension relatively easy with a two post lift because everything is just hanging out off the middle. Well, we can do the same thing with this. The guys are buying uh, motorcycle lifts and, and suggesting you use motorcycle lifts. Well, those are fine, but they're a four post lift or similar to a four post lift where you're supporting the vehicle on the tires. Uh, two post lift or a single center lift like this is going to allow you to work on everything uh, that's hanging off of the center. And these are cheap. They're die carts. This one was, uh, when I bought it, it was a little over $100. I think they're about $200 now, or a little under $200 from Harbor Freight. Harbor Freight hydraulics are usually pretty good. Uh, one of the few things from Harbor Freight that actually is halfway decent. Uh, this, uh, if you have a very low low cart, this is a little bit of a problem because this has uh, about nine inches, about nine inches of, you need about nine inches of clearance. Uh, that's not a problem because put a jack under the back or the front and you can wedge it up and then this will go right under. So uh, I'm going to show you how fast this is to lift and really it's quite stable and only takes a minute to get it down. So we'll get the back end up a little bit. A few pumps of the jack and that's up in the air. And that will allow us to get the cart underneath here. Uh, I've got a little... need a little room on the other side for my handbrake. But I've got full support underneath there. I'm underneath a cross member here. And that's supporting on both sides of the, uh, of the frame too. So it's, there's plenty of support. Okay. few pumps and we're going to be up in the air. Okay, we're 30 inches in the air now, so really easy to work on everything. You want to sit down. Work on the wheels, the suspension. Uh, everything's real easy to get at like this. As far as safety goes, it comes with these safety stops which which hinge off of here and they, they go down. The problem with these short ones is it only allows you to stop it about at about this height, safely stop it at this height. Anything above there, it can creep down in case the, uh, the hydraulic cylinder bleeds down. And overnight, it will probably bleed down. So what I did was I replaced these 
with this. Okay. And that allows you to safely drop it. At that height, now, that's it's not can't go anywhere. It's locked down there, and it's uh, it's relatively sturdy. You know, I mean, it's it's up there, good enough to work on if you're going to do any heavy work, uh, such as maybe take a front end off or take a the rear axle out or takes take a lot of weight off of one end, then you'd probably want to rig up some sort of a jack underneath it. But for most work, this is this is almost perfect. Only took a minute to get up there. To get it down off of there, uh, we'll release our safeties. Make sure I've got a good bite underneath the back axle with the jack still up in the air. Okay, we're off the lift. My jack's out of the way, and off we go. So, you see how nice these are and how simple they are. This particular one will is the, the cheaper one, it'll hold 500 pounds, it'll handle 500 pounds. I use it for lifting uh, heavy vices or uh, rotary tables or things off of the milling machine. Uh, and again, they're only, they're under $200 usually. They do make a thousand pound lift, which I don't think is necessary. Uh, they get a little more expensive. But these are fine. I've been using this one here for probably 15 years. And um, has always worked good. So, so much for a lift.